To understand how it all began, we have to take a journey uh, 10 years behind. Uh, I think so, it, it was in the year 2008 when we laid the foundation stone for our group's expansion. I think like every organization, the first year was a year of a lot of adrenaline. It was a lot of year of doing and wanting to do a lot of things. It was a year that a lot of us was brought together, not by chance, but design. It was a year when we made a lot of steps to make sure that we lay the right foundation for the years to come. First time when we hit the 100,000 transactions in a month, uh, many thought it is not achievable, uh, but actually the team, uh, including the, uh, the senior management and to the, to the last mile, like, you know, everyone actually took that challenge. That was actually a confidence boost. It is announcing that, yeah, Lulu's here. We had a first branch in Aluhada. Around 30, 40 people on the payroll and all working towards aggressive branch opening. The best memory is that when we started hitting 1 million dirhams profit in a month, that was in the sixth year of operation. The turning points are those acquisitions we made. First Taman, followed by Kuwait, then by uh, fully fine. These were very great acquisitions. I think so. This was not by design but was by chance. Each time we found that there is a particular uh, gap in the market and having that entrepreneurial values between all of us, we took a plunge to say that, you know, let's do that and let's do that correctly. One of the most important turning point is that when we decided to uh, balance the business with homegrown concepts and uh, franchise concepts. The aim was always to have a company in the UAE that uh, did restaurants and did them really well, uh, to bring great food to the UAE and to have always uh, people that loved food and uh, created amazing uh, cuisines to have them here. I love Bloomsbury because it was the first restaurant that we did. I still remember uh, meeting Bee in her cafe, Bees of Bloomsbury in London, and her saying, yes, I will come to Abu Dhabi and uh, plan the menu and everything for this restaurant. And it was amazing. I was over the moon. Well, the best part about this company is the, uh, the management has a clear vision in terms of uh, approaching the future and the freedom that the management gives the senior managers to operate. It's again because of that entrepreneurial value where we find that the goal is to bring a lot of people into the family who would make a lot of difference. For that it was important that we understand our journey. We started our, our first work, uh, vertical in the year 2008 um, which was the Lulu Exchange post which we moved towards uh, tables and then the last vertical that joined us was in 2014 which was uh, 2014 Holdings. So 2014 Holdings is a company that owns assets around the world. It is, um, we create amazing restaurants, we look around the world for amazing properties and we look uh, at interior designers and architects that would love to work on these properties and then we make that vision come alive. A culmination, all these things, is a family that grew from 10 people to over 3,000 today. That is now around from nearly half a million revenue. We have grown up to half a billion revenue after 10 years of time. I think success can be measured in many ways, uh, but how I see success is that we have a wonderful bunch of uh, great um, culinary artists working for us. We have created some great brands, we have um, some people loyal customers that come to us every day who love the food that we do. I think in that sense we have been very successful. I wouldn't say that I've achieved a lot of things in this last 10 years. But what I would definitely say is to the factor that we have laid the right foundation to which we can build on from here. So many things, there's so much uh, happening in 2014 Holdings, there's so much happening in tables. This uh, 10 years is the turning point for us and the next chapter is incredibly exciting.
I think the next chapter is going to be the most interesting chapter for us. And I think so. This is because we as an organization always believe to the factor that there are interesting opportunities in the market and opportunities needs to be tapped. As an organization, we believe that every day it's, it's going to be a journey of learn and learn where you're always going to be a student by the same point of time, you're also going to be a teacher because that's the way of our life.